I thank God this particular reunion wasn't really that violent. There was an exchange of words, probably except from doing and adequately wasn't really giving her that energy. Adequately has really grown, to be honest. I don't know why a lot of people are still hating him after a freaking year, but I feel like he's so mature. Like, he just smiled, you know, while she was talking and everything. But anyways, let me just give you guys a breakdown analysis. You know what I'm talking about. So, Ibuka started with Brian and Khalid. Now, he played a clip whereby they were insinuating that, you know, Hermes had a fake accent. Because, I mean, Hermes hadn't traveled out of the country, but yo he had an asset in the house and he still has an asset so um he played the clip and then he asked brian what that was about and you know brian said he was just asking questions he just wanted to know because i mean there was there was shakes in the house with the uk accent so he just wanted to know where you know um hermes was coming from and khalid was the one that said oh koro what's that name it basically means he hasn't traveled anywhere that's a place i think in nigeria so i don't know so it basically means he hasn't traveled anywhere meaning the accent is fake you get so um he um he also asked um khalid what that meant and he said he didn't really mean anything he wasn't shady he just you know said it like it wasn't anything at all and then he asked hermes and hermes said he walked on the ascent and i felt i felt hermes um reply was very mature he said um he watched podcasts um he's coming from a very poor background so he didn't want to look like or sound like the people from where he, he comes from he wanted to sound different you know he saw how the wise people would come and his other people, his family, friends and everybody around his um, neighborhood would always, you know, hail them and respect them. He wanted to have that. So he had to put in the work watching um podcasts listening to listening to um news you know um reading books and you know watching documentaries and all of that just to have the knowledge and you know master the accent so he thinks it's a thing of pride so he he doesn't even see that as a shade now he moved on to the alice and adikuli and hermes situation you know he played the clip where um adikuli was talking to ellis I, th I think about you know um how he's been noticing alice and hermes and you know he asked um hermes about the story he asked adikuli and adikuli said that was him just telling ellis that he noticed that you know Alison had something with Hermes. Ibuka now asked Alison, what's up with the switch now? Wait till happen. And Alison said at first she liked him because he was smart, but you know, getting to know him, she realized he was very sneaky. Like he was very sneaky. He was a snake basically. And you know, there were times, you know, he would, you know, tell her about doing that doing is not a true friend, doing is just being with her because of the show. And she genuinely liked doing and she didn't see what doing had done to him that would warrant him to speak ill about her so that's when she decided to withdraw and outside that she really likes people who look like hermes like people who don't look um basic who don't look normal hey wahala wahala anyways i think really was just keeping it cool with his response he was like oh if Alison feels that way, then that's fine. That everyone says he's sneaky and all that, then that's okay. I mean, it's, part, it's over a year and, you know, people are still thinking that way about him. That's fine. And, you know, um, Ibuka asked Duny about what she felt, you know, hearing that Adekunle spoke to Alison, you know, um, in a manner that, you know, insinuated Duny was a bad person. And, you know, Duny was... Doin came with a bazooka to a catapult fight. Doin was like, um, Adekunle is a liar. He's a two-faced person. That she personally went to him in the house and asked him if there was anything she had done to him. And he said no. And she watched clips that were so heartbreaking of him, you know, um, spoiling her image. And she felt like, why are you talking ill about me to these people? Let them meet me for themselves. And if they cannot be with me, I mean, let them go. Don't be the one to speak ill about me. Oh, um, more now. And um, Adekunle said he he was listening. He was he's dropping on Alison and doing his um conversation one time in the house, and he heard them, you know, um speak ill about Adekunle, and that was when um 
doing said it's a lie that he's a liar that if he tells you it's raining go outside and check he's a damn liar hey hey now tell me why dotu had the audacity the f on and the temerity to interrupt like what the hell what like what the actual hell and dotu was like please just own up to your thing like own up to your thing if you play the game own up with it like own up um your full chest that you play the game say it's a game like why are you lying? I'm like, eh, hey, small nyash de shiko. Who is this one? Who asked you question? <laughs> oh my gosh. She just reminded me of Ile Bae. I think that was uh, um one of that season. Um, That was when Chichi and Fina had an altercation, you know. And uh, no, was it? No, yes, it was Chomzi, Rachel and Chichi. And Ile Bae was like, just say the truth. I'm like, eh, hey, who asked you question, madam? Which one is say the truth? Nobody talked to you. Nobody was talking to you. Anyways, that's what happened with Dotun. And anyways, um, Ibuka asked Shex what he thought about, you know, the situation at hand. And Shex said he would respect Adukule more if he had said, oh, it's a game. I did what I had to do. And he took me to the finals. Anyways, I guess Adukule even said it. Yeah, I did what I did. And, I, and he took me to the finals. And Doni had this, you know, this, what, what rubbish statement is that kind of, you know, um, facial expression and Chess Shek said the same thing that he would respect adequately more if um you know um he said it was a game and that although he would never have played the game but at least he took him to the final so that's cool i'm like okay and then Ibuka moved on to Fina and Chomzi now i noticed that every time um Ebuka is addressing any other person's issue. Fina would always be giggling. I don't know why. Now, it got to her turn and she was frowning her face. Anyways, Ebuka played a clip of, you know, Chomzi and... No, no, no. um Beauty and Fina. And they were talking about the other girl Elu Swag was interested in. I'm sure you guys remember that, you know, Fina had a thing for Elu Swag before Groovy. And, you know, El she told Eloswag, actually, I think that was the second week, that, oh, I like you and stuff. And Eloswag was like, give me a week because he also had someone he was trying to woo. And that was Chumsy. So he asked, she asked him who the girl was and, you know, um, Eloswag did not reply her. So that was basically her on that clip, Abby, in that clip, that was basically her, you know, um, asking around and discovering that the person um Eloswag was interested in was chumsy okay ebuka is now asking fina talk about the matter now fina was like i don't have anything to say that's it i'm like uh -uh. ebuka was like you've been laughing at other people's situation now talk she said actually no they fear anybody she could talk and ebuka now said you know they fear anybody but you know one talk <laughs> ebuka really knows his job i swear to god anyway she finally spoke and she said um that if Ibuka listened or really watched the clip, it was or the full um video rather, she didn't even know who the girl was. Like she didn't even know it was Chumsy at the time. So it was just her, you know, discovering that it was her as it was Chumsy. Then she started explaining how she likes Elo Swag, how she asked him, how you know she asked her her ex bestie that's Chichi at the time. You know, she asked people, she even asked her Maka. Nobody really wanted to talk to her or tell her who the girl was. That's Chumsy. So that clip was just her discovering that oh so um he asked um chumsy as well how she felt and she said she didn't really feel anything now it's actually normal for girls to want to know who um the guy they like is interested on in or what he's doing or what he's saying to people and everything so it wasn't really much of a big deal for her but what she didn't really get from the clip was that um somebody wasn't really clear about something and that's elo swag that she felt like elo swag did not really tell um fina that everything about her so um Ibuka was like okay who exactly do you feel wasn't really truthful she said elo swag you know and um it wasn't really a big deal anyways um fina decided to chip in something and fina said that it wasn't a big deal it was just the game that she just played the game that you know she just wanted to know the person and you know continue playing the game it wasn't a big deal at all for her and you know it was just the game and stuff like that and i'm like okay 
all right you know i just like how calm she was and i don't know even know why people were even dragging her on twitter like if you now shouts like a shrew you guys complain and when she speaks calmly you guys still complain anyways guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section about all of this gist i just filled you in thank you so much for watching and listening please subscribe to my channel guys give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification to be alerted when i post a new video do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up bye guys